Hello everyone, it's time for our first Halloween hunt of the season. We're starting off early with Home Bargains. Let's check it out. You found a friend. <laughs> Gary the ghost! Ooh. So yeah, we're currently at Home Bargains and this is the Halloween selection they have out. So up here we've got some of the mugs. I put a spout. Glass. Um, I think yes. they're ceramic. Yeah, so ceramic mugs. Yeah, really ceramic nice. mugs. Yeah. You've got the classic, you know, I, I put a spell on you, you know. <laughs> Don't sue. Witch's Brew. I do like the whole cauldron look right, and the Witch's Brew. Like, that's the that's cute. Brew one that's is cute. The it, it's cute, and that's you know that's what they got. And then you got like you know the classic Halloween goblets where you've got you know like pumpkin transparent. I admit I do like these just because it's so. I don't know. Things like this always remind me of like early two thousands Halloween. Yeah, you know what early two thousands Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and these are going for like one one. Pound yeah, not pound twenty nine. Not bad. You've got like the you know see through goblets with the. Skeleton hands. Honestly, what do you think? Because I kind of think I've you, seen better ones. Yeah, spirit. Do, but <laughs> what I have to say is, do you think these will look more tacky with them being white, or do they look less? Would they look less tacky with white? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a little less tacky with white. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just I always find gold tacky, but that's me. That's just my personal thing. These are cute. I like Frank. I like anything with Frankenstein. So. You know, this for a kid is As pretty cute. As a kid, cute. I would have picked this one. Oh yeah, I, I would have picked the pumpkin one, but I don't know, I like Frankenstein. Frankenstein's cool, personally. Uh, he's got the little bolts. I always love how like it's gone from bolts in his neck to bolts in his head. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. I always find that funny. This, I don't know why, this screams like Halloween, like the Halloween movie to me. I don't know why that is. Hey, get those for the bunnies to drink out of. Those are our children. <laughs> that would be really cute. <laughs> just, just faux shop a bunny drinking out of one of these. <laughs> Yeah, I love these platters. Oh, these, yeah, the boo platters they have here. I'm trying Gorgeous. To take this out, being careful. That's really cool. Super cute. Put some cookies and cupcakes Oh, on. yeah, definitely. I think that's super cute. Yeah, it's going to help you since you're yeah. holding the camera. And then you've got these spider ones. You've got one in black and orange. Here, can you? They're super cute. Got yeah. the legs on them. Yeah. Nice disposable bowls yeah. in case you're How much are they? Are they like 99p? Yeah, they're like 99p. Yeah. In case you're worried the trick-or-treaters are going to steal yeah. your bowl. Yeah, 99p, nice and cheap. Then down here we've got more. We've got like a big spider. Yeah, you like got them in black plate. Pink. Yeah, they're a lot lighter. They're plastic. These ones are plastic, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're plastic. So Perfect trays for a Halloween spread. Yeah, you got a nice Halloween spread for your party. Once again, plastic. Yeah, trick or treat. Is there a black one? Yeah, there's a black one the down black there. The black one's super cute. The, pr the printing's slightly different, but basically the same. You've got these big, you know, drinking jugs, which I like that. I really do. <laughs> I personally like that. They're great. They just need to be bigger. They're oh, doing a really big oh I didn't notice this. If Look at the skeleton on here. Doesn't the skeleton look like, um, you know, there's a dark, dark house? <laughs> you, like, what's the show called? Like, like skeletons in a house or something like that? It was based off of a children's book. I don't know, you've got... Skeletons in the dark, dark house. I'll have to show you. I'm going to throw the clip up anyways. In a dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there were dark, dark stairs. Down the dark, dark stairs, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. And then down here, I think these are really cute. I love the pumpkin guys. you got the pumpkin guy. And then you got like a mummy and a Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, I'm not much of a nerd. <laughs> Which I think they look really cute. 799 isn't bad. You know, you got a nice little bowl, something to decorate the house with. Then up top over here, we've got. Bingo. Screen bingo. <laughs> bingo. What? Yep. As if you can print off your own bingo stuff at home. That's, that. yeah, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little weird, but fair enough, I guess. Like, can't complain. We've got some bath bombs here. Are they different shapes or oh, are they, are they... Collect them all, that's like, just oh, random. So it's just random. Oh, so it's basically like a mystery. It's like those mystery boxes that they do. These are nice, because oh. they're, they're the um, the vinyl 
the yeah. thick ones. Oh, look, they've got the same printing here. Yeah, so you don't I just have like this printing. This, I don't know, I feel like without the witches, if you just had like these pumpkins and some cobwebs, it would very much scream like yeah, 80s with, and 90s the Halloween. Yeah, without the witches and the vampires, that would be really cute. Yeah. This yeah. one's the winner for me. Yeah, oh yeah, you got to like, look at that. The, look the, at that. I look love at, the classic ghosts. The, the cute little ghosts with the pump. Look, it's got a pumpkin thing on its head. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got these. These we were confused by. These are like heat pads. Yeah, like, throw them in the microwave. Yeah, you throw them in the microwave, it's a heat pad, but it feels weird. It's got like the it's the gel stuff, not the beads, like the gel. But fair enough. Um, you might be able to put it in the freezer too. Maybe. Oh, look at the little wings on the bat. That's cute. <laughs> if, if a trick-or-treater falls on your doorstep, bust their head open. Yeah. Just give them one of these. Give them one of them. <laughs> It'll be in the Halloween spirit. They're the beads. And then you got like a cosmetic face mask. you got like a pumpkin, a cat, and a skeleton. So I guess if you're into beauty cosmetics. <laughs> You got your bath bombs shaped like ghosts and pumpkins and stuff. You know that's you know you got to... blankets that are super cute. Yeah, skipping down a bit, we got these. Honestly, they're quite cute blankets. If, if we, if money wasn't tight, I if would we definitely. We already have a bunch of blankets. Oh yeah, we've got too many. <laughs> we've got too many. And you got some scented candles. Some. <laughs> okay, I find this funny. Spooky vanilla. I want my vanilla to be spooky. Spooky vanilla. What's the difference between normal vanilla and spooky vanilla? Spooky. Comment down below. Uh, what's that? Salem, scent of Salem, haunted house, scented cow. What scent of Salem, haunted house? What does, what does a haunted what does house? What does a haunted house smell like? Especially one in Salem. Dust. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm expecting ash and rope. Oh, the vanilla. <laughs> what's that? Just, it smells like man's. What's, cologne. what's the pumpkin one there? What's that it's wicked, wicked pumpkin. pumpkin? And does it just smell like pumpkin spice or something? It does not smell like pumpkin spice, oh. and the vanilla smells like man's cologne. Ew. So let's. I'm afraid. What does the haunted house smell like? <sighs> <laughs> does it not smell nice? Oh, I can't even describe it. It's Bet. horrible. All right, now let's <laughs> move on over here, up here. I love candles. That's so down here and up here, we've got what the main one that a lot of people have been looking forward to, which is these kind of like plush ghosts holding a pumpkin. They're extremely popular. They're extremely, like everyone on face on the Facebook um, they're, they're groups have be been like, wanting these. They're meant to be decorative pillows for yeah. like your sofa. Yeah, we're definitely putting those out of the way of the rabbits. We've we've picked ours, <laughs> that's that's one we're taking home. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some wind up eyes here. That's cute, I guess. <laughs> Uh, these, these, um, I gotta say, I like these balloons. These are pretty cute. Yeah, those are nice. Like, I like how the skeleton's got a small mouth, and it looks cute enough, you know. Pumpkin one. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a wind-up pumpkin one. There we go. Yeah, I missed hiding. that. Once again, that's really cute. I like anything pumpkin mm -hmm. paraphernalia, Same. so. Anything pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin lanterns. They look really cool. You got your classic, like, you know, your keep out warning tape, you know, oh, caution. Uh, keep out, you know, danger zone for the zombies and all that. Pencils, cute little pencil designs with their erasers. That's cute if you kids into Halloween, get that for them. The typical spider web. Yeah, the typical spider. spider web that's made out of Santa Claus's beard when the stock, you know, you know runs up. First with get it. tangled in it with, and die. with the little spiders that are just those really bad, like, plastic rings that they put in, like, the Christmas crackers. Or the yeah. Halloween crackers, wherever they are. Um, these are weird. Witches' hats on string. Like, considering we were just talking about Salem a few moments ago, I'm just saying that's a bit... <laughs> that's a bit dodgy. This is cute, though. That's a cute idea. Oh, yeah, like the spider with the legs. Like, I've seen those a few times, but it's a cute enough decoration. So in the hangar, if you're having, like, a Halloween party or something. Now, over here, here's where we get to more of the costume stuff. So over here, we've got, like, you know, your wigs, you know, your white and black. Black, they're just... I thought I saw oh, there's some, like a, yeah. yeah, there's an orange one. I wouldn't say ginger, but yeah, you got an orange one. You've got like one where, you know, your Frankenstein's bride one with the, you know, white and black stripes. Basic stuff. You've got like your furry animal mask. Easter bunny. <laughs> Would you... I guess it's furry, but uh, I think we're going a little loose on the term animal, aren't we? <laughs> That's what my bunnies look like. Close enough. <laughs> we got like a panda, which... Honestly, I feel like if you were to refer this, you could easily like make like a Fredbear mask. That is really not glued on while I'm, I'm not going to touch that. And this wolf one, I actually like this wolf one. It gives me really kind of like folk horror, like British folk horror vibes. And it also reminds me a bit of, um, I said to you, Dan, like, it reminds me of um, <sighs> Shining, the Shining, like the bear mask that the guy wears when he's doing thing we won't talk about. 
down here we have like you got your classic like you know your plastic you know butcher knives and hatchets with these ones are actually really hard to find online i can't find them anywhere the ones that have the hole in them so they hang that's really weird like that these are really hard to find online but you see them in shops everywhere it's weird um i was curious on a price but i was about to say i can't see a price Good anywhere little... but i'm assuming they're only going for like a couple of quid i imagine oh, a pound 99 a pound 99 there you go so a pound 99 two quid you can get yourself actually in my opinion a very decent looking butcher knife like the yeah, paint job's good, not too bad for... like they're not terrible like you know you know personally i would just spray paint that bit silver and like spray paint that brown give it a wash of black and you're good to go uh we've got like foam props over here you know you've got your medieval axes your um halberds your you know devil's poker classic <laughs> stuff and then you got you know your skeleton hand trick-or-treat bags with a little skeleton face on them that you see everyone using these classic and then over here we get to like some of the kids costumes we've got like the this is supposed to be an adult extra large that's oh that's wait this is an adult yeah <laughs> you can't tell can you nah like can we like i'm sorry i know you this is meant to be sweet tooth from um burning metal they recently did a tv show now like a ton of things are like yeah like look at the crack in the t that's meant to be sweet tooth i think that's definitely meant to be sweet tooth that, that skeleton t-shirt i dig yeah, I, I i dig that that's a pretty cool skeleton t-shirt they won't have my size kids will love this oh yeah i like that is cool the holographic you know kind of mummy chest lots it's, of bugs yeah lots of bugs that's pretty neat you got kind of your day of the dead thing going on sparkly skeleton sparkly skeleton t-shirts for all you bling fans out there that can go with the bling ghost face mask <laughs> they've come out with this one is confusing what is this he's a a skeleton but it's like cybernetic skeleton like it's got mm. yeah that's weird he's a gamer that, skeleton a gamer skeleton <laughs> i like this this is cool because this like is kind of like vintage yeah that's classic that's oh wait no, it's not. It's the gaming zombie. Oh, that's the oh, that's the gaming zombie. Okay, fair enough. It looks more like a skater zombie, but all right. It's but because it says caution, keep out gamers. I'll be zombie. honest. Like nine ninety nine, I'd buy that just for the mask because I like the vintage mask look. That's pretty cool. Like that comic style. Yeah, you got your cl classic witches. That are, let's be let's be honest. This heavily must be inspired by um. What is it called? Um, the one with the witches, the Halloween. Sanderson sisters. Sanderson sisters. There you go. This is not the Hulk. Not it's the got Hulk. A little bit of muscles. It's Frankenstein. <laughs> you got your <laughs> quote schoolgirl. Yeah. Uh, more kind of your little girls, witches and cats. Oh, this, this is. This is adorable. Oh, that is adorable. Little and look, look at the Frankenstein. Oh, that's, that's look, adorable. It has a little bow tie. It has a little bow tie. That's cute. I like that. There's, there's the mask. Oh, look, it has Google eyes. <laughs> that is awfully cute. And then, oh, I like this. Little kid's t-shirt saying Burr with the, you know, blood drips and all that. Like, it's cool to see, like, them doing, like, the blood drips and stuff on kid's t-shirt. I know that sounds weird, but just, it's nice seeing that they're not just keeping it too sanitized. You've got some Halloween Peppa Pig down there little pumpkin dress and um, that, that's cute if we had if we had a little daughter or a little boy i'd dress him up in that i think that'd be I think cute that's for a girl though honey he's got a tissue <laughs> we can cut that off we can cut, we can cut that off we can cut that off so yeah with that that's essentially the whole for um home um for home bargains i think there's supposed to be some more stuff though because i I believe I saw on the website some little ghost ornaments. Yeah, we can have a look around and if we find anything else, I'll turn it on. Yeah. But that's kind of the whole. There's some there's some decent stuff here and some stuff if you're a DIYer that you could definitely work on, like those animal masks. I feel like if you re them and repainted them, you'd actually have something pretty, like, scary. That and the knives would be good extra props if you're doing a haunt. Oh, definitely. But yeah, that's that for now. If we find anything else, we'll get back to you.